I think we can get 4,000 likes on this video. 4,000 likes? Yes. Well, that was neat. I like that trick. Say some words. Some words. <laughs> Does this camera make me look prettier? Probably not. Can it? <gasps> oh, because it's really high def. Why do we all have water bottles? Alright All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back. I don't know if this is going to shake the camera a little bit because it's on a sketchy tripod. But welcome back to a video with my parents. I posted on my community section asking you guys to ask my parents some questions and uh, I'm going to read through them now. But what should they do before watching the video? Smash the like button. So starting off with the questions, first we have Blake Fitz. Not really a question, but I just like your mom to come clean about your dad being a giraffe. Then hopefully you can meet him and have a relationship with him one day. Huh? Do you pay attention to any of the memes, Dad? Like at all? No. For some reason, I'm known as like a giraffe. I was a crab, and now I'm a giraffe. So like, my dad watches, but he's not like I'm not an a stalker like my mom. Yeah, I feel like my mom is more like involved with the memes and will know like some of the memes <laughs> that are going on. My apologies. Mixer asks, what did you think when Colin did not follow the traditional route of going to college and getting a traditional job once <clears throat> finished with school? I'm actually curious, what do you guys think like when, once that was happening? I know I, I remember telling you dad and- Well, I, I'm an engineer. I have a degree in mechanical engineering. Your mom is a teacher. She has a degree in education. We're very <clears throat> traditional type people. Yeah, it was a little bit of a shock when you decided not to complete your education and get your degree because that is something that, I don't know, I guess we hold in high regard. However, we, we realized at the time how successful your, your channel was, was doing and we, we saw the passion that you had with it and I guess we didn't have any doubts that uh, you would continue to have success with it. So it was your decision and it's, it's your life. I will say though we did, I don't know if you remember, but we did say you were going to pay your own way. Yeah. Because I think we felt like if you were paying your own way and it didn't work out, then we were kind of secretly probably hoping you'd go back to school. We decided if you were successful enough not to go to college, then you had to be on your own. Yeah. Which you were young. You were 20. I remember being so scared to tell you, Dad, just because <laughs> I remember I remember telling you. Scared to tell me? I wasn't scared to tell you. I mean, like, I was just more scared because... <laughs> I'm the tough love parent. Yeah. And, and the mom is the unconditional... Love parents. Exactly. Is this something else? Okay, yeah. But I remember telling you, we were up in my room up here. I don't know if I told you. I think I told you. I think you were telling me, and I was like, we well, have to tell your dad. But then I remember telling you, and then you were like, you like laughed and thought it was a joke, and I said it again, and you <laughs> laughed. Like, you laughed like four times before finally you like looked at me, and you're like, wait, you're, you're actually serious. <laughs> I still, though, am like very happy I did go for two years because. I learned in my accounting 200 class about stocks and we did a like a mock stock thing where we had, it was like some sort of simulator where you had to like buy, buy shares of stock that I remember thinking like I have, I just need to get into stocks and like figure it out. I was majoring in finance, all that, all those like early accounting classes, like I feel like they actually were pretty helpful. Right, right. All right. So I guess this kind of continues along that, but. What advice would you have in regards to raising a young son who shows a big interest in technology? I would just say embrace it. Um, if your child has a passion for something, you, you just allow them to, to run with it. You know, give them the support that they need. I think that's probably the key, the, the number one thing is just to show your support. I do think too, though, it, his passion evolved because it started with the, the still photography. Yeah. And we bucked up and bought him that big old camera for Christmas. How old were you? In you were pretty little. Fifth grade or sixth grade? Pretty little. Yeah, and it was a nice camera. What, what kind was it? You'll know. It was a Canon Rebel 400D. SLR. Yeah, it was a, a DSLR. It didn't, DSLR. It didn't do any video. No, I remember I begged for that thing. I feel like that was like the big one of the bigger catalysts. Like if you wouldn't have got that camera, maybe I didn't. Well, yeah, it's something to consider because we did. We have spent some. We did uh, support him with some pretty expensive toys along the way. Uh, yeah. Computers. So my dad's an engineer, but he's. I feel like you do a lot of stuff in CAD, and so like you always need a pretty high power computer. So I feel like that's another advantage I had is that you always had. You were into technology as well. Yes. So you... You have to realize that it, it takes, uh, you know, a certain... You got to spend money to have the, the, the fast, expensive mm -hmm. toys. I definitely will say it was a 
it was definitely a I feel like a privilege that like you guys could support me like early on because like if I wouldn't have had that I don't know if I would have like I probably still would have been interested in it but it probably would have been a little I wouldn't have done it as early and yes but I think you're right letting your kid follow their passion and then just kind of watching it and supporting it along the way I feel like you, you know, started with that camera, I feel like, and then you started making those shoot 'em up videos. That's what, <laughs> yeah, which was also but like. But it's part of the journey. I yeah. feel like it is. I mean, if you look at that, goes to that, went to the, maybe it was the Angry Birds, mm -hmm. the Minecraft, all of those things, that, the things you did, and then all of a sudden you're like telling me about, hey, I got this golfer, I'm going to start trying to do stuff for him, and mm -hmm. just how it, I don't know, just how it all just just part of your journey, I guess. Yeah, Supporting it along the way. The move I, to LA, all the things that you did that just brought you to where you are now. Mm -hmm. It's weird too because like, I feel like you guys so easily could have seen... So when I first started making videos, I think I've explained this, but I was inspired by Freddie W at the time who would make action scenes and do cool muzzle flashes and I just that was like my inspiration. So I obviously just tried to copy and emulate that. But... I feel like as parents, you like I was doing things with like blood and like shooting and guns. I feel like you guys easily could have just put in like an X on that. And but like, knowing your kid too, we knew yeah. we knew he wasn't. I don't know yes. dangerous or it violent, was, it was, violent at all. It was all we, about. We the understood yeah. that it was just more about creating the effect. So I guess what did you think once I started doing good good? That was the next question. Like once I I guess switched over from Minecraft to golf. Like we're we're. Who's the Question. Bag of dirt. Bag of dirt wants to know. I will say that I was concerned um, because the uh, CC Mega Productions was his bread and butter, and it was keeping him going uh, financially. My concern was giving that up, uh, knowing that that there would be a a drop, and then having to start over and 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 rebuild another channel. Um, I. From a financial standpoint, I guess that would be that was my only concern. But I understand that you know you started that CC Mega Productions at, at an age where that was where your passion lied, and then as you've gotten older, you can't. You don't, you you don't can't, want to make Minecraft videos. Yes. For the rest once you of your once you get to your mid twenties, making Minecraft videos, you run around the park, and it doesn't provide the same satisfaction as it did when you were younger, and so you had to realize that you had to make a transition over to something else that was more along your age and passion and I mean you've, you've always been into golf mm -hmm. so yeah I guess that would be my biggest concern yeah just that knowing you needed to make a change again because you just kind of have to evolve. evolve with things but yeah a little nervous with just you know the newness of it I guess the good thing is with golf you can pretty much stick with that yeah, that's for, like for a, a long life, time. Yeah, right? that's a lifetime. You could go. Right? <laughs> Dad doesn't know about the good, good golf memes of them when they're old, like the guys when they're. Oh old. yeah, yeah. I'll put a couple of pictures <laughs> up. There's gifts. Holy cow! It's weird how like realistic they are. That's the. It is. Oh my gosh. The matte one actually looks really good. Let me see. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Puppy. Puppy's pretty good. That's hilarious. Is it true that your son is memes of destiny? I can I don't know much about it, to be yeah. honest with you. But I kind of, on the outside looking in, I feel like he is because that's the that's the kind of statement that, that Colin would make. What? Just the fact that it's memes of destiny. That's that's like a phrase that you would use. Something <laughs> something of destiny. That, that's like one of your. My own dad just turned me in. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I think he is <laughs> not. <laughs> How old are your parents? They look young. Oh, jeez. 51. 51. Both of us. Why does your dad look like a Joe Rogan Tom Hanks face swap? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, let me read that. He's interesting. Tom Hanks. I always think Uncle Mike kind of looks like Tom Hanks, but not your dad. Stupid is as stupid does. <laughs> Did your parents go to Krispy Kreme in Grapevine, Texas Friday afternoon? We did not. No. They live in Kansas, so yeah. no. Sorry, that's, we weren't in Texas. Not. Was Colin a good mistake or planned? Oh, uh, he was, uh, he was uh, a, uh, he was uh, a uh, great uh, thing uh, to happen. Th that one's going to be... We were young, though. That, we that were only like 25. Out. Is your dad mad you haven't become a jacked softball destroyer? I don't know how this person knows that 
So my dad actually is a professional softball player. Not professional. That's not what? Yes, it, he doesn't it, get paid. Well, okay, he doesn't get paid, but he's on he like the top the ten softball level. team in the whole United States. He's a beast. Well, I guess one difference between Colin and I is I I've just always had to do go out and do physical things. I I lift weights. And I still feel like at one point in my life I will hopefully work out consistently. It's hard right now with good good and like schedule and I feel like I, which it's probably not good also, but I feel like I've always prioritized working a lot over health, which is not good. And it's also not like I don't have the hour in like the morning if I would wake up and just go to the gym. I, I like, I have that time, but I've always prioritized getting work done, first. getting work done versus working out, which actually, is not if you good. Out, if you worked out like your dad, you'd probably be bigger than your dad. Because you just start talking. I don't know, and... bigger. But anyway, to answer that question, I think I, I've always put a more of a balance on everything, my work and my trying to uh, take care of my, my body. And I think that that's one one of the things that, that is probably difficult as a YouTuber is probably from the outside looking in, you don't see how much time it takes. And it takes an awful lot of time to, uh, to create these videos. Um, there's a lot more to it than I think that people see because all they see is the finished product and, and uh, Colin spends spends lots of uh, early morning late late nights anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this little Q&A hopefully it's kind of cool to see I guess my parents perspective on the whole YouTube thing and good good and all that but if you did enjoy this video smash the subscribe button I'm currently racing Garrett to 100,000 subscribers so I need all the help I can get smash the button is right here or it's right here somewhere just click the button. Wait, wait, actually, you guys should look mad. I'll be like surprised. It, it's for the clickbait. I mean. You're punching.